<laughs> now we're heading into the uh, Easter weekend, yes. and the big news always <laughs> is, are we going to have a dry Easter Sunday, and it looks like? We are. Yeah, isn't that yes, nice? Yes. Really nice. Especially Sunday. I think you're going to have the most abundant sunshine on Sunday. So something to look forward to. Another day of rain, and most days this month, it has been raining at least a trace or more. So yes, I think we could all use a little bit of a break. Doppler radar, the hour loop showing us, whoo, it was a lightning show across central and eastern Oregon. Right around that front, we had warmer air here, colder air to the west of the Cascades, so quite a mix earlier this evening. Now things are starting to mellow out just a bit, but not after receiving a whole lot of rain and also reports of hail about the size of pennies out that direction. In the meantime, we're still getting lightning strikes and some heavy downpours approaching Hepner right now and just outside of Pendleton, so still pretty active out that direction, but things should start to calm down here, I'd say, in the next hour or two. A rain total so far, look at this. Pendleton did pick up about three tenths of an inch just under uh, a little more than a tenth of an inch for you at PDX. Salem picked up three tenths of an inch. So now what are we seeing? Portland, light rain, 53 degrees. Wind out of the west at six miles per hour. Sunrise time, 618. So looking ahead, here's the big picture. A latest cold front is going to be shoving off to the southeast, but ever so slowly, not exactly in a hurry. So that's going to change our timing just a little bit for rain and when it's going to actually leave the building here. Um, but look at this big area of high pressure, this nice clearing. This is our weekend right here with a few clouds in the mix. So let's put this map into motion. We get tomorrow 730 in the morning, noticing areas south of Salem with the best chance of lingering showers in the morning, but noticing out to the east of the Cascades, all that rain moves out to the Dells and out to Arlington and Pendleton. So rainy side there, but then we get to midday afternoon. Things clear for the most part, uh, but as this system is slow to move out, it could spill back over parts of the valley and even the foothills and deliver a couple more quick showers, but overall a drying trend here. We continue with Sunday being mostly clear until we get to the late evening hours. Clouds return. Chance of rain remains for Washington, but not for Oregon Monday and Tuesday. Forecast temperatures tomorrow at the coast. We'll see some mid 50s inland valleys, mid 60s, so just a few degrees warmer compared to what we had today. A high of 60 for you in Madras, Bend 56. And the Dalles, 66 for a high, Hood River, 63, government camp, a high of 44 degrees over the weekend. Places like Mount Hood Meadows will be open, and so will the Wooden Shoe Tulip Festival. Expecting the mid-60s again with most of your sunshine happening on Sunday. Guess what? They're open until May 5th, so don't feel like you have to be in a rush to go there this weekend because pretty much... All of America is going to be out there this weekend. Okay. <laughs> Lots of people and, checking out the tulips. And while you were doing weather, the Easter Bunny stopped by. Well, like well. Oh my goodness. I thought this was an egg, but this is. That's chapstick. That's chapstick. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you. You're still ahead here on the news.